All right, here's our first video. Gonna be talking about threefold. Here you can see we're downloading threefold connect app. I'm using the Google Play Store um, since I'm an Android user. And you can download it from Apple if that's your cup of tea. Uh, very basic, get the app, <coughs> set yourself up uh, an account. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get uh, Oracle VirtualBox installed. This is what we're going to use to virtualize um, our Ubuntu. I'm going to use this quite often in my video series. Very handy. Uh, this and uh, Raspberry Pi uh, used quite often. So as you see, we downloaded it, get it installed. Now we're going to open it up and we're going to uh, set up a, a virtual machine instance. We call it threefold, set it up for uh, 64 bit Ubuntu. Now, uh, typically, threefold would want you to have a 4 to 1 ratio of RAM to CPU. We're not going to use that ratio, but if you're setting this up for a, a node that you're going to operate for some time, you definitely want to have higher higher CPU cores and higher RAM. Uh, the node opera, uh, operate uh, we use quite a bit more. Uh, 12 cores and 64 gigs of RAM. One thing you do want to note is that you have to use at least 500 gigabytes uh, of storage space in order to uh, be eligible. Now there is an auditing process on storage for uh, threefold networks, so it's unlikely that you'll ever see uh, storage usage. You'll most likely see uh, CPU and memory uh, credits. So once we got that set up, we're going to go through settings, bump up the core th core count, set up hyper threading. Uh, make sure you have that enabled in your BIOS if you haven't done that yet. And we're going to navigate over to the threefold website. Uh, here we're going to deploy our 3Bot. So what we'll do is we'll use uh, the username we set up on 3Fold Connect application. And that app has, um, essentially it's going to log you in. So you have to have that app open on your phone. Type in your username, you're going to get an alert in the app and you'll have to select the image that's showing. Once you do that, you'll get yourself logged into this 3Bot three, three deployment uh, website. We're going to uh, basically use this to set up our farming. Now, you will need to have some TFT, so we'll touch on that a little bit when we uh, go to pay for the deployment. So first things first, you're going to set the name. Uh, this does take some time. There's been quite a bit cut out and sped up. So just know that this, uh, this process probably take you 10 minutes to get through. Uh, set up the name something, uh, something relevant to what you're doing. We named it YouTube. And you can select the lowest core and memory since we're just using it to set the farm up. You will have to provide an SSH key. I'm going to use uh, Putty Gen, so you can use the just Google download Putty. It's a great SSH client. This is the key generation, and we're just going to save the public and the private key to uh, my documents. Then we'll upload the public key to uh, three bot. Of course, you, if you were going to use this for uh, actual usage, not a YouTube video, you would want to set a passphrase. And from here, it's just going to import that. So you can also set up a recovery password. Just uh, in case you can't SSH, this is the password you'll use to log on to the uh, web interface. So from here it's going to look up farms available. 
it's going to ask you where you want to be in location. Just set automatic. Because uh, again, we're just using this to deploy the node. Uh, this portion here is, set up, is sped up as well. This does take some time. So to touch on um, getting TFT token. <clears throat> Basically what I did is I purchased some Stellar XLM. And I transferred it to the Lobster wallet. Uh, from there I traded it to TFT and sent that over to the uh, Threefold Connect app. You will need the Threefold Connect app for uh, making payments. Here we're going to set uh, expiration time. Just give us a couple hours. We'll s uh, all we're going to do is set up the farm. Now you're going to use your Threefold Connect app. Scan the QR code and send the required amount. Very minimal fee. Um, I mean, cents. So it's... Uh, Nothing to really worry about. And again, you only need to do this to set the farm up once the nodes are running. There's no need to uh, get back in here unless you want to uh, change your farm name or something. This uh, does take a moment for the transaction to go over the network and be received. And then from there, it, uh, it will deploy the the instance. So threefold seems to be uh, kind of a competitor to the Akash network. I'm uh, going to be doing a video on Akash as well. So in this portion here you need to download WireGuard. Um, save this uh, configuration file and load it into WireGuard. That's what's going to build the tunnel so that you can access the uh, the three bot instances. I've already done this in WireGuard's running, so now all we gotta do is uh, use the URL and we're gonna log in. Again, it will uh, require you to have the app open and choose the image uh, correctly. Alright, so once we get this loaded up, you're going to accept uh, the terms and conditions. And then we're going to go and uh, install the farm manager package. You see package there on the left side. And we're going to find farm management and install. Once that's installed, you'll see that listed alongside on the left there. And here's where we're going to create a new farm. So we'll get the farm name and enter your email address. And this is where you're going to need to have your receiving address for your Threefold Connect app. This is where the proceeds from uh, farming will go. Once we set that up, you'll see that uh, we have a node ID. You can uh, get in there and make sure that your copy and paste and everything's set up correctly. Well, we will need the node ID for the next uh, next portion of setting it up. All right, so we're just going to go back into uh, Farming Manager. Take note of that node ID. And this is where we're going to download our uh, zero OS image. Quite a few different images that are provided. Um, we're using a virtual machine, so we're just going to download an ISO. They do have uh, bootable USB images. You can use uh, Bolina Etcher or something of the like to write it to a flash drive. If you're going to put this on some dedicated hardware. So I scroll down, find the uh, the option that you need. Very small file. So once we get that uh, downloaded, we're just going to drop that into our virtual machine as our boot up drive. And 
this stuff here is uh, just me being a dummy. You gotta click the CD there and add the ISO. And once we get that booted up, it does take uh, a few minutes to get everything downloaded and completing the boot up process. So we'll just start that up and we're going to speed this up here. So again, we're seeing a lot of uh, different cloud computing, um, blockchain, decentralized, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this threefold, it has its device, the, the three node. I think it's listed for $899 on pre order. Probably be more like $2,000 when it finally comes out and sell for $10 on eBay. This is a similar idea to the Akash network. Uh, then they have their super mini device. And the cost as well, you can run on your own home hardware, which we'll be doing a video soon uh, showing how to do that as well. I think it's good to know that uh, we can do these things without purchasing their device. Uh, a lot of this is code is uh, open source. With a little guidance, you can have this up and running in no time. So then once uh, you see the Zero OS is booted, and it's gonna take a few moments to uh, do a handshake with the network. Now in my particular case, I'm uh, behind a CG net, a carrier grade net. So we're gonna see, I don't have a public IP address. <coughs> so this uh, basically is likely utilizing UPnP. So I'll take that for what it's worth. You know the security risk involved there. All right, so now we see that it's uh, attached to the network. And if we refresh our three bot, we'll see it over here in our node list. I'm gonna do a follow-up video. Um, on how to run a local instance for 3Bot management and farm management. This is just an uh, introduction how to get your nodes running. And you can run multiple nodes behind the uh, same network. And there's essentially no limit to uh, how many you can run. Some online uh, spreadsheets to calculate profits, uh, but I wouldn't expect to see anything until the network starts to see higher usage. Uh, currently, this is uh, it's, it's marketed as a competitor to AWS, Azure, but doesn't have the utilization that uh, either one of those networks has. Hopefully moving forward we will see it and the earnings will become uh, more worthwhile. Alright, so now we click on our farm and see our node is up. It's healthy. And we have some uh, memory units, CPU units. And again, like I said, storage units um, at this point, there's an auditing process from threefold, and it seems that mostly data center type uh, connections will be getting the storage unit credits. So that's basically all we need to do into the three bot. We can go over to uh, threefold explorer, we should uh, copy their node ID, and with that node ID, you can look up uh, status on the Threefold Explorer. Uh, next video we're going to do is on Mysterium, decentralized VPN. I have some videos on Chia, Akash, uh, 
leave some comments and we'll, uh, we'll do some videos on what you guys want. Alright, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, we try to increase the production value. We just uh, felt like they'd be getting this information out. Thanks for watching.